Yeah, so I'm back up in the shed again, and this time, uh, look, I wasn't going to do a video on, on making this because it's a present. Uh, it's going to be a Christmas present, actually, and uh, it's a walking stick. So, look, I've seen them on, on, the, on the old tube, on the YouTube, um, these survival walking sticks, and look, as a family, we do do a fair bit of walking. We're right across the road from a 100k walk, um, so we're out there a fair bit. We actually walk our, our dingoes out there some most days as well. Um, but uh, we do love to go for walks. So the idea behind this walking stick, because we do carry them anyway, is to provide a little bit more, I guess, safety out there. So it's not about fighting any zombies in the apocalypse or anything. It's really just about if someone gets injured on during the day. Um, or we get maybe, you know, the weather turns on us. But gen well, generally, we keep an eye on the weather anyway, so you can see it changing down here. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. What did I do? I got a stick, uh, it's probably about an inch, just over an inch, maybe about 30 mils in diameter. Um, and what I've done, I've drilled some holes in the end. And as you can see, that one's off center. Mmm, bad juju there. Um, that one's not so off center. That's good, that's goodness. Um, so how did I do that? Well, actually with that one, I did it very poorly, would be the answer. Um, but just wait there, and I'll see if I can find the drill bits. So back again. So this is a, a 10 mil longer bit. That's what I did the small hole with. That went in straight. And then I also used a 16 mil longer bit. So you can see they're fairly long. And the reason for that is I wanted to get some depth for these items to go in. So this is a ferrous rod or ferro rod, fire starter, um, because I guess one of the main things, if, if you're injured out in the track uh, or the weather turns quickly and it gets very cold, and actually we can get really cold winds off Antarctica coming th across um, onto the mainland here. So uh, look, it does get cold. So um, keeping core temperature is really vital so that's what i've sort of focused on with this type of stuff so something to start a fire to keep you warm and it also has a signal too so people can see you um, and you'll see the wrapped um, that's a space blanket so just a foil space blanket there and that's really to wrap around um, ourselves or the person who gets injured to keep them warm especially if they start to go into shock and there's a bit of a cool breeze blowing so um, that is the purpose of that now, I know I did say that that is off center and that actually resulted in that nice big drill bit coming out the side of the stick. Uh, what I did, I just puttied that up and then cause this is here. Thankfully you can't see it. So all this, all this goodness underneath there. Um, actually look, it came up pretty well even with the, the putty in there. So I was, I was pretty happy with that in the end. Uh, but the idea is that this doesn't get used, I suppose. Um, it's there for emergencies. It's not something we're going to be pulling off and going, oh, yeah, look at that, there's a hole in the stick. Um, it's a case of thermal blanket to keep people warm in case of shock, that type of stuff. I've also wrapped that in a, uh, a clear plastic bag, um, A, to keep the water out of that so it doesn't get mouldy, um, because that's going to be our handle. So I'm going to wrap that with paracord and create a, a you know, handle grip there. Um, and obviously paracord is not waterproof. Um, the water will soak through that. And I guess my concern was that if that never gets taken off and the water gets into the folds and creases of the space blanket, it could go moldy and get a bit smelly and actually just get unhealthy. So I'll put it in a plastic bag, but you know, if you're gonna go hardcore survivalist, you could then put that around the end of a you know, tree branch and get water condensation out of the um, leaves. We have a lot of creeks and rivers through here, so it's probably not a biggie. Um, but you know, there's some thought into it. I've also put some, what we call gaffer tape. It's just a cloth thread to tape um, around to seal it off all as well, so the water doesn't get through and get stuck underneath it. It also keeps it in place when people are walking. 
So my job for today are to drill out that end just a little bit more. So the 20 mil end of that, which is a, um, a glow stick essentially. What they call them, a Cylon stick or something. They've gone for the technical name, which is glow stick. Um, but anyway, you, you break that, shake it, and again, that would then become you know, a bit of a beacon. So for when people need to see you, um, but also if it's out overnight um, or getting dark, you can just use it to look around where you are. And sometimes, especially if it is dark and like if you hurt yourself and you need to be out on the trail, um, because this might sound a bit weird, but going for night walks out here is actually spectacular. We're on, on the cliffs of, of the, uh, the ocean and on a, you know, especially on a full moon night. I know there's still a lot of light around. You probably don't need a glow stick, but um, it's just a spectacular view. And it's just a different experience of walking during the daytime. Um, so, but if you're injured, a lot of things can happen. You get scared and you get panicked and all that sort of stuff. So a bit of light around you can just provide that little bit of sense of safety and comfort for you. So that's the stick. Um, I will give you a picture when I get it all done, but today I just need to make some space for the glow stick to go in. I need to add that. I also need to add my little button compass on the end of my little rubber stop, which will go on the top of the handle. And then I've got a rubber stop that goes onto the bottom as well and then wrap the handle and we will be good to go. So sometimes up in this man cave of creation, a little piece of poetry occurs. And there we have it. So that was the hole for the glow stick. I just had to make that, enlarge that end of that a little bit more. So you can see at the end of the glow stick is Actually, that's about 20 mil. So the rest of it's about 16 mil, which is why I've got a 16 mil longer bit. Um, and as it gets a little bit thicker towards the top, but as you can see, that slides in there very nicely. And it's just almost a perfect fit. And by the time I put that little rubber boot on, it's gonna be bellissimo. Uh, so yeah, very, very happy with the way that turned out. If you're wondering how I did that, I have this little um, tool. It's like a little grinding, I guess a little grinding bit that I can put in the end of my drill. And that's how I, that's what I use to make enlarge that hole. Works lovely. If you're wondering how I went with the other end, the other rubber boot, you can see I have now glued it onto the end of the rubber boot. So these rubber boots I just got from the local hardware store, they're about you know, four or five dollars for a pack of four. Um, yes, yeah, so I just use some clear contact glue, put it on the top. So now, even though look on the trail that we walk on, it's pretty obvious where you are most of the time because you have this big ocean to the south of you. Um, and if you go too far the other way, you have a, a main road. And like that, that can be about 30, 40 kilometers away sometimes, but um, yeah, days walk, you'll get there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty obvious where, um, where you are most of the time. But anyway, just thought I'd show you that quick update. So here we have it. I've done the wrap. You can see the wrap. I'll see if I can find the YouTube channel that um, I watched that on, because it was actually really quite simple to do, time, quite time consuming. Uh, it took me well over an hour to wrap that, because it is fairly long. It's about 40 centimeters in length. Also gave me some blisters on my fingers. Um, the holes have come up well. Sorry, just missed that. So in here, let's see, I've got some cotton wool and a uh, ferrous rod. And at the other end, which has now got the rubber boot on down the bottom there, it's where the glow stick is for the signal and a bit of lighting at night time. So look, overall, very happy. Um, I'm hoping that the boss is happy with that when she gets it on Christmas day. And now I've just got to sneak it into the house so she doesn't see it and the kids can wrap it up for us. Um, what else is there to do? As I'm poking this bit of cord in the top here, I've also got something left to grab it out. But this is the top bunk. 
the rubber one for the top. And as you can see, it has a little, is it like a little button compass on top? So as she's walking along through the wilderness, through the bush, she will track where she is going. And so overall, I think that looks reasonably neat and tidy. So what you will see is on the wrap down the bottom, I actually had to melt some of that together. So I just put a bit of flame to it and melted it together so it didn't unravel. Um, I say I wasn't as neat and professional as that you'd probably want to hope. But look, it does the job. When I first did it, I first did it just on these little bits here. Um, but then the wrap started to unravel a little bit, come apart. So I just applied some heat and just melted those last three together. So they stuck together so they didn't unravel and pull apart or catch on anything. It was probably more, more important. I didn't want them to catch on something and actually just rip it all undone. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time. So there you go, another job is done and dusted. So look, the stick was well received and it has held together really well. So if you enjoyed that, give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as that helps support the channel. Until next time, I'll see you then.